Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 30 of Forgecraft 1 series on version 1.9. Today, we're going to rearrange this giant mess that we made uh, between the last episode and so, and uh, probably move our generator, move our crystal. What I want to do is basically relocate this stuff. So if I were to have this, really a good way to have this would probably be a 5x5 five five room. Right, so if we did something like this, and a couple of you, this might be more like, or less like five by five, but you get the gist, right? Uh, I wanna give it a little extra space, right? So this is more like a seven across, right? One, two, three, and one, two, three. So that's seven across and five back, right? Maybe we'll make it. Nice. Gotta love uh, using Psy to dig out rooms. That's just so cool. Uh, speaking of Psy, did I learn the trick that lets me make light block yet? Because that might be cool to learn. Uh, can we learn this one? Yay, block conjuration, nice. Uh, trick conjure light. I wouldn't mind doing that because I would think that would be cool. So let's get Blink going to get out of our room here. Um, put away all this cool stuff that we just got. We might even process a little bit of iron ore, hooray. Let's try making a quick place block light thing. Um, so what I'm thinking is first, which spell can we get rid of from our gun? Breaking, five ahead, that's always been useful. Placing line is nice, regen is good, break square is good, nine by nine circle, seven above and below, jump, smite, blink, and sleep. Um, oh yeah, this was the sleep testing one, right? So let's replace that one. That's just the one that we used. So I'll just replace that, sleep. Where is he? Nice. So let's do place light. I want to try these out because these are new. Um, so time is optional. I'll show you how this works actually. Which um, place or conjure block is the one that will level us up. Um, so maybe we'll do conjure block first. So conjure block. So the position will be a vector construct, right? Uh, vector construct, no. Uh, raycast, isn't that what we want? Vector raycast, the normal one. Um, of the casters, entity position and entity look. So caster, caster, position and look that's going to be your position and optionally you don't have to give it a duration but i will just to show you how it works and we will call this um conjure block cool cool all right so now we've got conjure block and it would be neat if it conjured it where i thought it would I leveled up, so what did I do wrong here? Vector raycast, operator entity look. Right, entity position of the caster. So this guy's position is blue, ray is entity look. That should be kind of working. Oh, I think it's in ticks, not in seconds. So if I did 30 ticks, Doing something wrong, I'm sure. What if we did uh, conjure light? Position and time. Huh. So what I could do is, hmm. So let's try, did I update this by the way? Position and ray. Yeah, it's still not working, that's weird. Thought I knew how this one worked, conjure light. Let's try doing this, uh, I'm gonna do that. 
Oh, look, it conjured the light at my position, and it should last for about a second and a half, because that's 30 ticks, right? And because that's optional, if we remove this, um, then it'll last forever. So what I'm thinking is it's trying to put it in the block I'm looking at rather than in front of the block I'm looking at. So what I'll probably want to do is do like a minus one. So let's try this. Let's do vector sum. Let me fix this real quick. Hey, I got it working. Nice. So you want to see how I did it? It's actually a little bit tricky, but I'm so proud of myself because it worked the first time. Um, so I had to do a vector sum. So I did the vector ray cast of the entity position, entity look of me, and that basically is the block I'm looking at. So that's why it wasn't working because it was trying to put the light block in the block I'm looking at, and that's not gonna work, right? So then I did a vector sum. I did a negate, which is the opposite of my look vector. So if I'm looking south, it's going to add the negation of that, which is north, one block, right? So that's basically what we're doing. We're, we're adding one block to the opposite direction that I'm looking. So if I'm looking that way, we vector negate one and we get one block away from that. Pretty cool. Um, now I really wanted to do like crazy stuff. I could do something more in depth, but I think that'll work. But now it should basically place a block. Now the only trick is it might be a little bit tricky, but oh, there's bad guys in my little room here. I went to get lighting and they invade. I know you're upset that you're on fire, as you should be. Um, so hey, let's do something like boom. Nice, look at that. How cool, huh? That seems to be working rather nicely. Perfect. Okay. So that'll do. And I'll pretty this room up in a little bit. But um, so this is seven by seven. I probably want to convert the walls into the fancy stuff. So let's blink out of here. Um, do I have, did I ever make the wand of equal trade? That would probably be extremely helpful for me right now. Um, like I know I've got a gold banded reed wand, so that would probably, that's actually probably not the best wand to use. I want my Thalmy embossed awesomeness wand. And uh, the wand of equal trade. So I've got excavation and grappler, which are nice wand foci. But I don't know that I ever made equal trade. So that is balance shard times four, quicksilver, and nether quartz. All right, let me make this guy real quick for you. And quicksilver is smelted cinnabar. I don't know if I have any in here, but I've probably got some over here. Nice. And pure crystals, I can probably whip those up pretty fast. I've got one balance shard. Let me make the other three. Okie dokie. Easy peasy. Done and done. Uh, so let's make this thing. Wand goes in. Nice. So. I may have to fix my key bindings. Okay. Got it going. So let's get our obsidian here and let's look at making from deep resonance, some not poison dirt, but dense obsidian. Cool. Uh, so looks like I can make 60 of those. Um, that's the one we're going to want to want to equal trade up. So 60, huh? That sounds like a number that's not completely unreasonable, but we're probably going to want more of. Nice. We're definitely going to want more of that stuff. Because, frankly, we want something like this. So let me work on getting more of these filters and be right back. So the good news is I should be able to do that nice and get this stuff back. Cool. So I think what I want is probably at the very least, what's the breaking speed, by the way, on this dense obsidian stuff? Probably just as much as regular obsidian, that's cool. So at the very least, we want to prevent, can I do, nice, cool, okay, beautiful, exactly what I want to see. Oh, am I out of obsidian already? Okay. 
So we'll need more of the filter stuff. One more little bit. I went down mining for it. Oh, yeah, that's that's gonna help. Don't do that. Smooth stone, smooth stone. We'll fix this. That should all be good. All right, cool. So we can fill this in like so. Hmm. Not the buttons I meant to click. Probably be a little bit careful with this stuff. That's all I'm saying. This should work. Okay. And then make sure our light gun's back. <laughs> light gun. Nice. That is cool. Very cool. Right? Yeah, I'm digging that. That should be cool. All right, so that should help protect us a bit out front. And we will slowly convert this all to the uh, dense obsidian. Like I would say the next thing I would want to do is maybe the roof. And it's possible I'm going to want to bring this roof up one, but we'll see. Up oh, one short. One short. Oh, that hurts. That stings a lot, but that's okay. We'll be fine. All right, uh, so let's move this thing into there. I don't know if there's a door. Um, but I could blink my way in and out of there, right? Like, who needs a door? I got blink. What's up? How's it going? Boom, in and out, right? So why not? So let's get this generator. I'm assuming I can break that. Yeah, I can, and it doesn't hurt anything. Nice. We'll take this guy in there. Uh, I was probably going to rearrange all this stuff anyway, but we'll... I'll figure out how that's gonna work in a bit. Cool. I don't even know why that git was on there. Capacitor, I'm pretty sure I can pick this up with my wrench. Cool. And we'll do something about the wiring out here in a bit. Enhanced energy circuit, good, I've got more of those, perfect. So what I'm thinking we'll probably wanna do Let's wand this back to cobble. These guys can be smooth stone out here, and that'll look pretty good, right? So that'll be my my room. Like I said, might want this to be a little bit taller. We'll see. But for the very moment, generator should be in the middle, not the generator controller. That can be on the side, maybe? Uh, I think I'll put that on the front, actually. And then the actual generator itself. And this dude. Capacitor bank, I'm not sure where I'm going to want that. But the resonating crystal can go probably right here. And there, there may eventually be like another one here. And maybe even here. If I add another generator block, it can have more crystals. So that would be really cool. But for now, I wish there was a glass version of this. There is dense glass, which is just spent filter material. That's cool. It's probably not as good, but maybe if I put glass around just so I could see the reactor running. Once I get more spent filter, I think that'll be kind of the approach I'm going to take. Um, and then we're going to want insulated redstone conduit. So let's... Probably for the best that I did that. left click so we could have the that's the energy conduit this is the redstone conduit stuff right so we will force a connection up okay and then 
outside. I've only got seven of these, but I can make a few more if necessary. Maybe right here. I could have the power monitor. Does that sound cool? Okay, let's make a few more of those. If I don't already have them somewhere. That's insulated redstone, yeah. Really? I thought I would have had a few more. So that is just redstone and iron. No, it's uh, silicon and redstone, isn't it? Let me just make sure that I didn't have more of that. It would either be, oh yeah, see, no, that's energy conduit. Let me smelt some of this up. We'll be back in a minute. There we go, up and running. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is pull energy out of the generator. And maybe the capacitor can sit here in the corner. Does that sound cool? Uh, we'll configure this side not to be push, but I will configure the bottom will be input. And we'll basically want the same kind of layout. but using these guys. So I'm thinking it needs to be here. That's where we have to pull energy out of the generator. And this is why it's nice to use these conduits because basically we only have a small footprint that's not covered by the obsidian. Right, and that would be good. It is there, it is placing, it's behaving perfectly. Cool, so now you should be zero, you should be also needing conduit one, two, let me guess, I'm shy one. Literally short one conduit, but that's okay. So we've got some more energetic alloy going on. And we're good to go. Nice, so now you should be detecting uh, that we're going to set our engine control. Let's say for now, let's turn it on. What percentage are you at? Would you say that's probably around 25, right? Yeah. So let's configure this for less than 30, greater than 40. Engine control on. Nice. And I could probably use a little bit more smooth stone. Maybe these are fine. So where's my thing that detects bad stuff? No radiation detected. So there is radiation right out here, but that's not so bad, right? It's in the 2000 mark, that's not even bothering me. Now if I were to blink inside that room, yeah, look, 40,000, okay. So that is definitely helping having the dense obsidian there, uh, which is cool by me. Yeah, it would be even better if I could like, that should help a little bit, right? That should be cool, all right. And then this thing automatically turned off. Perfect. All right. Um, the other thing I want to do, I want to rearrange some of this stuff, obviously. That would be cool, but probably not just yet. Uh, I wouldn't mind processing some more liquid crystal. And I think I decided I want to move this processing station down into the basement, which involves moving the lava setup, but that shouldn't be a problem. So let's do this. That should clear away all the lava. Clear away all the lava. And that'll, I mean, we'll lose the lava that's in there, but that's okay. 
I'm gonna rebuild this downstairs. So let's come back in a minute once I'm done doing that. And I should probably organize my inventory a little bit. So back in a sec. All right guys, just doing a little bit of redecorating in here. Things are looking pretty good. Um, decided I kind of wanted to see the power flowing through the build craft pipes and that would be cool. They do seem to be connecting to the conduits though. So I might wind up moving this. I'm thinking maybe have the conduit behind on the input. So instead of input on the bottom, it would be on the back. What do you think about that? Look at this, I'm trying to make things look nice. Oh, kicked on some power. That's okay. There we go, right? Power on the input, that's cool. Um, now if I want to output out the bottom, I'm gonna need pipe plugs and I don't know that I have any on me at the moment. I have one. Might be enough, might actually be enough. So pipe plug, there. And I can probably yet a wrench this Disabled? That work? So do I even need the pipe plug? Eh, probably not a bad idea. Cool. So that will drain out. All the energy will flow over here. It's just filling up this guy because I had him cooking me with some more food. Hmm, potatoes. Okay, cool. So that's good. And I'm happy with that. It looks nice too, I think. Right now, who is this dire and what has he done? Uh, cool, so that's good. This is back up and running the way it was, but today I wanna check out something else new from um, Deep Resonance. All right, so the valve looks to be a very useful uh, device. Might want more tanks. Gonna need more iron and more, let's get some more resonating ore and some of the resonating plate stuff. That probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Let's smelt one of these. You won't let me throw anything in there while you're cooking, right? Okay, you're almost done. Well, maybe not. Eh, we'll wait. Uh, I should be able to at least make one more tank. Just need a little bit more of that glass, which is cooking. Cool, actually I can make a few more tanks, because awesome. All right. So the valve looks to be useful because what we can do, according to the hold shift on it thing, it says this machine will transfer fluids from the upper tank to a tank below if the fluid matches certain conditions. So I don't know what those conditions would be, um, but what we could do, so if they match certain conditions, they go to the tank below, right? Um, my question then would be how to really automate this. Because basically, like, if we put the valve here, we could have it transfer when they get to the 85% mark, right? So we'll put a tank here. We'll put the valve down. Cool. Purity. The minimum purity to accept the liquid. Nice. That's cool. And you can see it's default. Max mil the maximum amount of liquid in the bottom tank. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, cool. And then you can also adjust strength. and Ooh, That's neat. Okay. Open manual. So... Yeah, you guys can read that if you want. Cool, so it has to be higher than the value, right? So if we say 84, it won't go through until it's 85. Nice, okay, cool. So with that in mind, let's consider how we're gonna do this. So I wanna basically pump it back up into this tank when, I don't know how fast it would be, but what we could do is put some kind of gate on here that would say something like the following. Let's get more piping here. And boy, my inventory is really quickly becoming an issue. So we should have a wooden pipe and some fluid piping. Cool. 
So what we can say is, let's also get, I have to get a better way of getting up and down, I know. I know, I know, an autarchic pulsar. We're going to say, because I'm not sure how fast this will transfer, right? Um, but we'll say contains, hmm. let's see how fast, well, I don't know how fast it's going to transfer, that's my thing. And I don't want it to pump out right away. I want it to kind of, let's make sure this is blue. This is that. Right, so I guess something we can test. Let's just say for now, fluid in tank is energy pulse, right? So let's just do one crystal, right? We'll let this melt up. This guy should be redstone signal off energy pulsar. He should pump into here. And I wanna see how this operates, right? So what we should wind up with is Two hundred. Maybe let's do four more, right? Because that'll give me an even bucket's worth, and one full bucket might be good. So this is me testing out how things work a little bit. So quality is at a hundred, which is cool. Um, this will also test when this thing dips below, and that'll be nice. You should actually be pumping already, but I'm not sure why you're not. Oh, right, because this guy is set to blue instead of orange. Ha, derp. Oh, well, let's get it to a full bucket's worth, and then we'll see what happens. Cool. So I'll I'll, I'll say that was on purpose because it completely wasn't. You're at 82.10. Perfect. That's what I like to see. So our quality is at 100%, which is really good. And we've got a few filters here, and I can put this here without any ill effects. Nice. That's nice and compact. All right. So set this guy to orange. He should be allowed to extract now. Um, we're going to want this guy also to be orange then, and this guy to be blue. So he got pulled out real fast, right? And none went in there. But that's to be expected um, because of our percentage, right? Purity's at 20%. It's going to filter some more through, and it's going to continue to purify it. So let's see what happens when purity gets to 85%. Because my thought is if it gets to 85%, and this thing pumps it out faster than the valve transfers, that's probably going to be a problem for us. But we'll see. So we're actually getting pretty close here. My purity's down here at 76%. So if this can somehow be faster than the gate, that would be cool. But if it's not, that's fine. 85. Oh, wow. That was quick. So some went in there. I think the gate's competing with it, though. We'll know when this purity level gets above. So it only does 200 liquid at a time. Okay. So what I was worried about, I think, is happening. Even though it's at 85, this thing's a little too quick for it. Yeah. All right. So let's come back in a sec once I figure out a solution to that. All right, guys. I think a solution here might be using a redstone engine instead so if i said something like this let's turn this off we're going to put five more in here so we have another bucket's worth that should cook up relatively quickly in the meantime i'm going to configure this for fluid in tank redstone signal okay so that way when there's a fluid in the tank it'll emit a redstone signal it'll take a second for the redstone engine to activate right um it'll pump It'll drain out whatever's in there and send it back up to the top. And then once it's empty, it'll turn off the redstone engine, right? And again, it'll take about a second or two for the redstone engine to activate. We saw that with this one over here. Um, so in theory, it should take longer for that to activate and we should be able to manage this now. So we're at 600, we've got a little bit left. I have to run power over here, by the way, but we'll get to that. And if this works, then we'll be golden. So we want this guy to be orange, right? We'll just do a bucket's worth. We'll set this guy to orange. He should start pumping. Nice. And then we're going to filter. We're going to need a little bit more filter material. Right? So this has, you know, some in there. That's 200. This guy should activate his redstone signal. See how it took a second? Nice. 
cool. That's actually pretty darn good in my opinion. It's working beautifully. So let's see what happens now. Cool. So it's at 48%. And basically, if we wind up with two buckets worth in here exactly and we don't have any lingering amount, it means that we're doing a good job. This guy might be speeding up a little bit. I don't know that he's turning off ever. Yeah, he is, because he's off now, right? So yeah, he is definitely turning off, which is good to me, because it means he's cooling down. I wish I had a value to measure his current heat level or whatever, because they like accumulate heat. I'm gonna have to try it with like a large amount at once and see if it gets up to the green level, but you can kind of see it's still blue. So we're at 83.2% now, which is cool. Drained out. Now we should be at 85 and it dumped. Nice. Cool, 85 and dump. Beautiful, that's what I wanna see. All right, so I think it's working. So I think this is a good solution here because it's pretty quick to drain it out. And this thing is just, it was too fast before, but with the redstone engine hook in, it's definitely like better, right? Cause see how it's briefly activating the redstone signal? It's not enough. It drains into the tank down here before this guy has access. So that's cool. All right. So the next thing I wanna do with this crystal is play with the laser system of Deep Resonance, but we don't have time for that today. Um, but luckily we do have more spent filter material. Awesome. So I'm gonna throw, we've already done 10, so let's do, Twenty more and just make sure that everything flows through. So I'll come back later and check in. What we should see is plenty of good stuff here. A um, little bit of power required. I might see about running power over here. I definitely want to do it properly and make it look cool. Because like I said, I kind of like watching the power flow through the pipes. Um, but I don't know that I have enough at the moment on me. Do I have any gold down here? I do. I don't have any redstone. I do. Okay. Nice and nice. Okay. So yeah, what we're going to do is wrap up here. Uh, we will come back next time and play a little bit more with this stuff. Um, I'm going to do this better than I'm doing it right now, but for now at least. Because I want to use like glass covers so you can kind of walk around smoothly. I think that would be neat, right? So we can still see like the awesome power flowing through pipes thing. There we go, cool. Building up, nice. And at some point we'll drop low enough that this thing will need to do its thing, but we're good for now. Um, the crystallizer requires power and that'll be somewhere along this line. But what I'm thinking is once this is here, we can pump this liquid into something else, do another valve setup to get like the appropriate stats because we need lasers to adjust power and efficiency. But that'll give us more RF a tick and more RF total. And that will be very cool. Uh, but for now, I think it's wrapping up point. So uh, things seem to be behaving here. Everything's doing what I would expect it to do. So Darwell20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back. Oh my goodness, we're already out of that stuff. Okay, next time uh, I'm gonna check out the glass stuff and um, you know, see about making some things look cool. All right, so maybe I'll just show you guys the glass right now before we wrap up point. Does that sound nice? I, I think that sounds nice. Uh, wand of equal trade. Nice. How's that? Cool? I think that looks good. I have one more glass than I need, but that's okay. Maybe I should make these guys just so that it looks nice. I'll just put this here just so I have space. And like I said, eventually we will probably wind up having just straight up. Oh, by the way, multiple layers of obsidian definitely help. So if you have like two layers of obsidian, that does even better than one layer, just so you know. All right, definitely wrapping up points. So Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time to play a little bit more with Deep Resonance. All right, guys, take it easy.